guys so today we will be making a handmade Easter basket with items from the dollar store what you will need a cute little basket and the size and color and style completely up to you it just depends on where you want to go with your basket but I thought this one was so cute and adorable and I just chose a neutral gray color all right, some Easter grass, and you can also substitute the grass with um, tissue paper or deco mesh. I have one Chanel stem and some ribbon to tie my final bow. I have a cute little stuffed animal that's going to be the backbone of the basket. It's going to help support all of the candy and everything. I have plastic wrap to wrap everything up when I'm all done. And... Have these really cute styrofoam eggs that I thought would look adorable just sprinkled around in the basket and candy of course peeps are such a classic I decided to definitely add some of those have Mike and Ike and Sour Patch Kids and then some cute little lollipop you can add whatever candy you choose and my color scheme is like a lavender blue color I just think the color schemes look so cute but if you want to go with like multicolor or rainbow whatever you'd like definitely do whatever you prefer that's the good thing about making the baskets by hand you can kind of modify it if your kid really loves pink you can do that or they really love elephants you have the ability to do whatever you want personalize it for your specific child you will also need tape some newspaper and a hot glue gun all right let's get started so you want to start off with your basket and what i like to do i don't like for everything to like sink down into the basket because you can't really see it the way that it looks the prettiest is if it's able to sit up nice and tall and you can see every aspect of the basket so that's where the newspaper comes in and i just have some old coupons <laughs> and you just like ball it up and put it in the bottom of the basket And you want it to be nice and firm so that it supports everything. And take into account that this newspaper is going to kind of smush down a little bit more. So make it a little higher than you actually want it. So this is how much paper I have. Again, it will smush down a little bit more once you start adding in some weight onto it. And I actually want to um, make sure this is completely covered. So I'm going to take two pieces of white paper and just cover the newspaper. So just ruffle it up a little bit. Right in there. And you could definitely use tissue paper, of course. Now we are going to take our really pretty grass See how fluffy and tall it is? So pretty Alright, so there we have it I'm going to use these four larger styrofoam eggs, and I think I'm just going to place them one, two, three, and four right across the front. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and get those in place. You can decorate the basket however you prefer. I just thought this would be so cute. That's just so cute and adorable. All right, now it's time to add my goodies to the basket. So remember I told you guys your stuffed animal is kind of like your, your support for everything else. So I'm gonna get the stuffed animal placed, so cute, placed towards the back center of the basket. All right, just making sure everything is nice and neat. And I'm just like getting the stuffed animal nice and cozy back here at the back. 
I'm kind of kind of trying to anchor it down as best I can low enough to where it's supported by the back of the basket but not too low to where it's hidden away then I have my pretty grass there we go so now we have all this space to work with putting in our extra little goodies all right so that's what it's looking like so far it's so cute now we're gonna add in the candy so again like I said peeps are classic I knew I wanted to add some of those right here and then when I make the basket I kind of like for everything to show at least a little bit to anchor the peeps down to the bunny you can add a tiny drop of hot glue not too much to stick it too, too tight but just enough to kind of keep it nice and secure just like that now I have these cute little sour patch kids now the Lavender around the edges goes in with my color scheme, but the yellow not so much. So I'm kind of going to hide this a little bit. <laughs> kind of just like that. And then I'm going to just like add a little piece of tape to secure it to the basket. And with the tape, I just take a small piece and I curl it. Just like that, like make it connect to itself. So it's like a little circle. So that it sticks to the candy and to the basket. Kind of like double-sided tape. So if you have double-sided tape, that will work even better. Our really cute Mike and Ikes. And I like the Mike and Ikes because they have a, a picture this way and also a long way. So if you want it sitting upright, you can do that. If you want it lying flat, you can do that. Let's see how this one looks maybe like that and we'll add some glue just to hold it just like that again just a small dot of glue just enough to secure it together without making it stick 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 or even a little roll of tape and just push that together just like that now we're going to add some of our adorable lollipops And they have um, several colors, but I think I'm only going to use the blue just to stick with my color scheme. And then add it in just like that. And since they're lollipops, they're on sticks, they kind of just anchored themselves down. I'll put a couple back here. Inside. Again, whatever candy you choose, whatever colors you choose. Okay. I think that's enough candy and now I'm just gonna add the little styrofoam balls just for an extra touch just looks so cute and adorable just like that that's what it's looking like and see that makes a nice full basket you have your bear and just a few boxes of candy and your peeps and some lollipops so you don't have to have a ton of items to make a nice full and pretty basket all right so once you've gotten everything exactly the way you want it it's time to wrap it all up in the plastic and then add a pretty bow so i think this looks good looks nice and full i love the front i'm just gonna pull the grass up a little bit more so it's showing just like that so cute and sweet and this basket can essentially be made for less than ten dollars again make it your own now let's get to wrapping with our plastic wrap and then we'll add our pretty bow and we'll be all done so with the plastic wrap you want to make sure you have a nice amount of the plastic so that your basket is completely covered and you don't run out but you have a nice amount to kind of stick out of the top. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Roll off a nice, nice amount. And you want to kind of center the basket in the middle of the plastic. And again, the plastic, you want it long enough to come up past the basket. So, let's bring our basket. So we have the basket here and you see the plastic I'm rolling it above the basket make sure you bring the plastic past the top of the basket maybe at least like six to eight inches higher than the basket in the front and the back 
So I have my basket sitting in the middle of the plastic. And then I have the plastic coming all the way up 8 inches past the basket. Like 8 inches higher than the basket. Alright. So once you get the plastic exactly where you like, just go ahead and cut it. There we go. So you bring that side up, tuck it away, and bring the front up. And bring the back up as well. I'm going to kind of tuck the plastic in the back. And this, this part also depends on how, how long your plastic is width-wise. So just any excess plastic you have, try to push it towards the back so that it's not in the front covering your items. So yeah, just gather all of the plastic. And then if you have a section that's like falling open, you could definitely take a little piece of tape and just tape that section down. Once you have it exactly the way you want it, just take a little rubber band and tie the plastic together. So I've pulled all the plastic together and now I've gathered it together at the top, just like that. And that's why I said leave like six to eight inches or even 10 if you want it fluffier at the top of your basket so that you have enough space to pull it together without pulling all of your items together. Then you just take a little rubber band and place it around. The plastic is probably the most difficult part, but just be patient with it. Just maneuver it and... Okay, so I've tied a knot and I'm just going to spread it out so it's nice and fluffy. Just like that. So this is what the basket looks like. You see, you're able to get a nice clear view of everything in the basket and you can see how sweet and adorable it looks. And so let me show you this part. So you see how this side is coming up? You can take a small piece of tape and just glue and tape that down. Just one small little piece, just like that. And I'll do that to the other side just to make sure it's nice and secure. There it is. So our last finishing touch. Can't really have an Easter basket without a cute, adorable little bow. So I'm going to add that bow to the top. So for the bow, I'm not going to do anything long or complicated. I'm just going to take this really pretty ribbon. I just think it's so pretty and it goes in with my color scheme. And I'm going to just make a quick little bow. So I have it folded like this. And you can measure if you'd like, but I'm just estimating. And I fold it like this. I bring that back behind. Just like that. Then around to the front. So you could leave it like this, scrunch it and be done, but you can also add one more set of loops. And scrunch it together and that looks so cute and adorable and what I'm gonna do so this is the end of the ribbon I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around the center it's a nice quick and easy little bow and wrap it once more and I'm going to glue it down at the back so I take a little hot glue Glue it down, maneuver and adjust it, make a loop. Because I want, this is going to be like the 
tail hanging from my bow. So I have a full video that I'll link in the description box showing you exactly how I make this bow step by step. If you want to check that one out. But you can do whatever bow you like. It's just an adding an extra, you know, like a finishing touch to your to your project. And instead of tying the bow onto the basket, I like to twist it onto a Chanel stem so that you can take the bow off and put it back on the basket without destroying the bow. That's the one thing I uh, I really hate doing. If I have something that has like a really pretty bow and I have to like destroy it to open it, uh, it makes me so sad. So that's why I do mine this way. Just gonna get nice and secure. And see, I have the Chanel stem right here on the back. And I'm just gonna twist this around the top of my basket. So we have the rubber band on the top. And we're just going to take the Chanel stem that's on the bow and twist it. Just like that. Then adjust your bow. And there you have it. You are all done. It looks so cute, sweet, and adorable. Again, the best part of making them by hand is you can modify it to fit whatever person you're giving it to. Whatever they like, the colors they like, the candy they like. Nice, cute, simple, sweet Easter basket with items from the dollar store.